The inexpensive woodblock prints known as ukiyo-e first became widely popular in the early 17th century. They strongly influenced 19th century European painters, such as Van Gogh, Lautrec, Monet, and Gauguin. Traditionally, different artisans painted the design, carved the woodblock, and made the print. Mary Mihashi saw that she could adapt the old ukiyo-e techniques and traditional themes for her contemporary artistic purposes. Ukiyo-e master Hokusai created this portrait of a beautiful kimono-clad woman 200 years ago. Mihashi gives the same subject a very modern look. The tip of this brush can paint lines as narrow as one hundredth of a millimetre. The original ukiyo-e prints were the newspaper illustrations, advertising leaflets and pin-ups of their time. And it was the skill of the ukiyo-e printers in realistically rendering fine details that gave their work such wide appeal. After completing a painting, Mihashi turns from 17th century brushwork to cutting edge 21st century technology. Instead of specialist human carvers and printers, Mihashi uses computers to render the fine detail of her paintings with a delicacy impossible for the old hand techniques. Mihashi and a technician scan a painting into a computer, make fine adjustments, then run a series of test prints on a specialized printer. The paper is the traditional handmade washi used in ukiyo-e, specially adapted for use with this printer. They repeat the test prints and adjustments until the artist is satisfied. This print portrays the nine-tailed fox of an old Chinese legend. The extremely fine brushwork of the fox's fur and flowing tails could only be reproduced by this printing method. 250 years ago, ukiyo-e used the latest technology of the time, woodblock printing. So I am actually being quite traditional by using today's most advanced technology. Mihashi gives the original of the print to a popular shrine to ensure it will be seen by a wide audience. This is the ukiyo-e tradition, art to please the general public rather than just private collectors. The old ukiyo-e prints derive their vivid energy from their deep roots in popular culture. In Europe over 100 years ago, ukiyo-e formed a new bridge between the cultures of East and West. Mary Mihashi employs this traditional technique as a cultural link between past and present. 